welcome. This is Gigi, and this is a weekly tarot reading for my Aries sign. Hi, Aries. How are you, babies? This is a general reading, okay, you guys? Keep this in mind, general. Don't try to read too much into it if it doesn't resonate, okay? You know, this doesn't have to be based on your sun sign. Go ahead and go look into your other planetary placement. Uh, other videos might resonate more, okay? Also, I've been told many times that my reading resonate weeks and months after. The reason why I say this in all my videos is because my viewers keep telling me. So if you do need guidance, I highly recommend you go ahead and uh, watch your previous reading, especially if it's pertinent for your life right now, okay? I will put a link in this video uh, for maybe last month, okay? Maybe January, I'm not sure. But there is a playlist you could uh, also uh, review a past months as well. Welcome to all my new subscribers. You guys, I'm so proud. You're helping me growing my channel. Thank you. Thank you. All my new subscribers. Welcome. Welcome to the family. All of you guys that are returning. I am so happy that you have been with me for a long time. Okay. Some of you guys been with me for a few years. Uh, I know who you are. Thank you for your loyalty. I'm very humbled by that. And let's start your reading and see what the message is for you. This is a timeless reading for Aries sign. I want you to know that before recording your reading, I always meditate and I ask for guidance, okay? Two of Wands in a reverse. Three of Swords in a reverse. Seven of Wands. Three of Wands. The Sun is in the reverse. A nine of pentacles in a reverse. So three of wands is also in a reverse. In this spread, again, what I do see in the right position is the seven of wands. Okay, this card is about defending yourself or defending someone. I mean, pressure is mounting for some of my areas in some areas of life. It seems to be related to your relationships. Okay, it could be your private relationship. Girlfriend, boyfriend, okay, same sex, it doesn't matter, wife, husband, but it could also be your friendship, your network, group of, of uh, group circle, okay, so let's say you're part of a team, a sport team, you play soccer, you play any other sport, you play music, you're into a band, this is a network, a group of people, okay, some of you have been thinking for a long time, or maybe, you know, this, there's a pressure Put upon you by this group, okay? It has to do with continuing being a part of something or not, okay? There's some choices. People are asking you to make choices, or maybe your own conscious is asking you to make a choices about your future because the sun is in the reverse. Let me show you this card in the right position, okay? It came in in a reverse, so you definitely are looking for better days. They're coming, okay? But I was telling you the last video, it's about that 12th house, right? Life is a, a never-ending cycle of birth and death, life and rebirth. It goes on and on and on. So through the year, we go through different cycle, okay? Now your cycle before your birthday is the end, it's an ending, right? It's the 12th house. So you have the sun in Pisces and you have Venus also in Pisces, which is exalted, okay? This is where Venus feel uh, really happy, okay? So I do feel for some of my Aries, okay, there's some areas of your life that you have been compromised due to some other reasons, okay? Maybe it's because you had a goal, you wanted to read something, you were working towards your career. In any event, with the seven of wands in the right position, okay, there's a certain status that you want to keep for yourself, all right? Maybe it's the status of being married. Maybe it's the status of being a owner, a business owner, or a father, or things of that nature. But there's a lot of things where you, you're forced to review things that you have done. Uh, there's some amount of loss because the 12th house is the last placement of the soul. And I keep saying this, this is truly where, you know, the soul dies, okay, to be reborn into something else, okay? So from Pisces to your sign, there's a zone that we call in astrology, it call, it's called the Gendenta, all right? The Gendenta is when we go to uh, some dark phase and then we're reborn, okay? We're, we're shedding 
shedding our skin okay and you are the babies of uh the zodiac so a lot of people are shedding their skin at the same time as you maybe you have to be a leader and you have to initiate something okay but i do see a lot of hesitation two of wands okay you're not making a decision you have been slow delaying in the decision three of wands okay so those two cards this is a suite okay it talks about normally two of one it's about making a decision all right, going towards something, okay, picking something, and then the three is walking it in that phase, all right, so as example, I decided I want to move, okay, and the three of ones, uh, sorry, here, the three of ones is about, okay, I have find my new location, all right, or I have decided to involve myself in uh, my creativity, and three of wands is, okay, I'm starting my YouTube channel, I'm starting my, my job or my passion. Those two are in the reverse, so you know exactly what you want. There's no doubt about that, right? But you're not going towards that direction. And I feel like with the three of swords in the reverse, the reason why is because maybe you are aware that some people, the you wanting something, you going towards something that you truly desire, you have to let go of something, right? 12th house, the sun is in Pisces, it's before your birthday, you have to clean something to re be reborn. And, you know, this could create some type of pain and sorrow for other people. It could create pain and sorrow for you too, right? Maybe you have to leave people behind in order to be happy, in order to be shining, all right? Maybe it does It does have to be, maybe you choosing something else means that someone else is not going to get what they want, all right? Or you may not be able to participate in someone else's endeavor, okay? Because once the sun gets in Aries, it really is about me, myself, what I desire. The sun, they say it's exalted, right? The same way Venus is exalted in Pisces, the sun is, is the sun love to be the most in Aries, all right? So the sun's gonna be in your house. You're gonna have to make a decision. It's not gonna please everybody, but it's gonna have to be ruled by the heart, by your true desire, all right? And it's it's a path that I'm not sure. It's hard for you to take here. Nine of Pentacles is in the reverse. This is my card of being single is in the reverse. Maybe some of you don't wanna be single. Maybe some of you want to be single, right? Something that you're on the defense about, Aries, all right? Only you know what that is, okay? But I get the feeling for some of you is that there's some let go that is necessary in order to really be fulfilled going forward in your in your world. You're going to have to leave something behind, maybe change job, maybe change location, okay? The Yerophant is in a reverse, the Ace of Wands is in a reverse and the Strength card. Okay, so you know what it is? Is that there is a lack of interest in some areas of life, okay? The Ace of Wands in the reverse, it's like you, you're not giving passion. You're not receiving passion. You're not passionate about. Maybe it's a relationship you need to let go, right? The Hierophant is in the reverse. This position represents a structure in inner and in parties, a mutual uh, uh, mediation, right, is when you're getting help from a consult, from someone at a higher place. It could be some time a therapist, a guide, a father figure, okay? It's in a reverse. So you know that people at high places may not agree with you, okay? All right? But you know, let me tell you something, Aries. If you are coming from a loving heart and this is what you want, I'm here to tell you it will succeed. You have to go for what you want. This is your journey. That life and rebirth is not the body. It's not based on your sibling, of your parents. It's based on your soul, okay? You're not the body, you're the soul. Ace of Wands in the reverse, Three of Swords in the reverse. There's something that's dead, Aries. Something you're not feeling it. For my cross watchers here, flip it, reverse it, okay? There's something you're not feeling, and you know in your heart there's nothing to give. 
there's no more passion, no more desires. It seems to be related to the relationship because your seven house ruler, which rules your relationship, right? Venus, Venus is in the 12th house. She's away from you. All right. You're away from someone that you care about. Maybe you're hiding, you're, 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 you're uh, hiding your interests, your love uh, for someone. Or maybe you're not in a position to reveal the interest that you have towards something else, right? It could be attached to someone at a foreign place. It could be a foreigner, someone who's very different from you. Maybe your family has some could have issues with that. The hierophant in the reverse. It could be uh, there's some fundamental limitation between uh, what you're looking at in your future and where you are right now but i feel like it's all in your mind because the sun is there that's the sun says if you're coming from a loving heart it's supported right and that's the reason why aries get to have what they want is because the heart speak more than anybody anything else and the sun here remember it's in the reverse so you want it it's available to you but for some reason there's a pat maybe it's a question of time Aries, I have the strength card and the seven of wands. I feel that in the future, delaying things could create some, you know, you could, you could be entangled in some hostility. Okay. And what I mean by that is let's say you don't change job when you know you need to change job. And what happened is you work in a hostile environment. You don't like the people that you work with. You're not feeling them. You don't like your job anymore, or you're in a place and a location, an area that you don't like. You're still there, but you don't like where you like where you live, right? It's a, it's a the straight card. See, she is. You know, you could see she's not really holding the lion strong, right? Because the strength is a spiritual strength, okay? So maybe you're defending someone here. It could be it, okay? It could be you defending someone giving attention to something to someone here someone that you find very powerful but it could be also putting you in a hostile environment maybe you're doing things that you're not doing you're not supposed to do the hierophant is in a reverse all right you're i think that you're go, going beyond something here okay it could be maybe it's bigger than you for some reason meaning that it has a very uh karmic maybe karmic is not the right word it has a very um transcending uh energy that you don't even know it's like a whimsical energy you don't understand where it's coming from it's because it's coming from the sky aries i have the ace of cups is in the reverse the magician and the queen of pentacles Ooh, there's a choice in in relationship all right it doesn't have to be your love relationship it could be with your boss maybe for some amount of time, you've been supportive of, of someone in some situation and you realize that that's not it, right? Because the magician here, that's the one who's manipulating the sun. You have someone, a manipulative energy, all right, that's trying to manipulate things. You could be the one manipulating things. I also Aries for my cross watchers. Others could be manipulating you as well, okay? But the Ace of Cups is like, you know, is not being able to get what you want in terms of love connection, not being fulfilled, okay? Um, because of the path that you want to take and you're being restrained, you're being um, repressed. And I think that some of you is, is because of some fundamental change or fundamental belief it could have to do with religion. Maybe you're dealing with someone who's spiritual and you are religious. Maybe there's something here that you don't understand. I'm not sure. But with the Ace of Wands in the reverse and the Three of Swords in the reverse, something got to give. Something got to give, Aries. All right? You have this cycle. You have a few days to do it. I, I told you. I've been saying this. You know, because I did the review of the uh, the chart for this year, the chart for the chart uh, for 2021. It says for you, Aries, you're gonna have to make changes. If you don't make changes or the change that is right for you in the right time, changes will be done for you. 
All right. And you don't want to do that. You want to remain in control. Now with the seven of wands, are you defending something that is real? Is it worth defending? Strength card is in a, is, is, is just next to it. You're giving a lot of effort. You're putting a lot of effort into a situation, but I see that it's not fulfilled. Ace of cups is in a reverse. Ace of wands is in a reverse. You're not feeling fulfilled. You're trying to leave a situation. It's very hard. You're being manipulated here. All right. Maybe someone is holding you due to this, the divorce, papers about this, or like definitely. Okay. But now let's talk about this queen of pentacles and the knight of pentacles in the reverse. Those are two different women. Okay. They are the same suit. Okay. But the difference is because this one, okay, this one is uh, stable. She is financially stable. Um, also, that could represent a mother figure. It could be a wife. It could be uh, someone who uh, works, speak for themselves, who have a reputation that has been proven. And then next to it is the nine of pentacles is in the reverse. Maybe someone that you know doesn't want to be single. All right. Someone that you are with doesn't want you to leave them alone, doesn't want to be single. And for my um, feminine energy, it could be a man. It's just that it's it, it came out as the queen. OK, so don't attach sex to it. But I feel like there's a situation that lacks fire, that lacks passion, that lacks uh, love. The love is there. It's available for you. The sun is here. Whatever you want is available for you all right but you're being oppressed there's some manipulative energy around have you manipulating things aries and turned out it didn't turn out which how you want it three of swords in a reverse ace of wands in a reverse that could be it all right have to defend your position your past action you have to keep up it's asking to be very strong going forward okay because of choices and path that was uh, followed or maybe you were led towards that didn't really pan out the way that you wanted but you still have the sun even if it's in the reverse all right things are looking up it's about choices that you're going to make going forward i'm going to end this reading for you my aries um don't forget to subscribe to my channel you guys help my channel grow uh, before you leave like and share the video and until next time send you lots of kisses i love you